there, this is Talia the Dietitian and today I'm answering one of your questions. You can submit questions that you'd like me to answer on YouTube or topics that you want me to elaborate on by joining Talia's table. This is a membership website you can join for as little as $4 and there's a membership forum where you can tell me exactly what your question is or what topic you want more information on that I can answer on YouTube. This is a way that you can support the free content that I provide because I believe everyone, every parent needs access to a dietitian. So without further ado, the question I'm answering today is how to handle when a kid wants more of just part of a dish. So for example, pasta in soup was the example given. So I want to do a quick recap on the mealtime rolls. And if you haven't watched the video about mealtime rolls, I will link it in the description and also at the end of this video. And that sets up who is responsible for what at a meal. What are you responsible as the parent and what is your child responsible for? And when we stick to these mealtime rolls, it makes mealtimes much easier for us as the parent and much less stressful for us and for our child. So in, in the mealtime responsibilities, if the child wants more of a food that you, the parent, have selected to give them at that meal, they are allowed to have more of it. And in this scenario is one of the times where it's a bit of an exception, and that's because it's a mixed dish. So for, for the example of pasta in soup, um, I would recommend you set up the expectation prior to starting the meal if you know, if you have a sneaking suspicion that your child is going to want more of the pasta in the soup, that you would put it in front of them and say, we're having minestrone soup, there is pasta in there, this is a mixed dish, um, and everything comes together. And presumably you'd be serving something else on the plate too, um, or in next to the bowl or whatever the case may be, so that there's always a food that is safe or a liked food so that the child, if they're hungry, they will eat it. So you could also put a small amount of pasta separate on a plate for them and let them know that when they're done, if they finish all their pasta, they can add their, that back into the soup, but let them know that it's a mixed dish. Um, and, and you could say something, to them like you know the pasta comes as part of this soup today or you know if it's cheese melted on toast for example and they've peeled the to the bread the toast apart from the cheese and they've just eaten the cheese or they've just eaten the bread and they ask for more you say look these come together it's all it's like a sandwich that they all that they come together and that's how they're eaten so it's really important to stick to your boundaries here you know if what you're serving is a mixed dish and you also need to decide if you're okay with them having seconds or of just that and for me personally, if it's something like pasta in a soup or, you know, carrots in a curry, I'm not going to go through the curry and pick out the carrots for them. Um, that's, that's, they, they are welcome to do that. But if they run out of the carrots, they don't get more of the curry until, you know, they've finished the curry because it all comes together. So it's something that you need to, to know in your mind, you know, that's a mixed dish and you need to be con confident and consistent in how you're delivering that. So giving them that expectation, um, if you've forgotten to give them the expectation before the meal starts, it doesn't hurt to give them a small amount, like see, you know, let them know, oh, you know, it really does come together. I'll see if I can pick out some of the pasta for you and I'll give you a little bit on your plate. But from, you know, from now on, you know, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, but it all does come together and set up that expectation and show them, you know, kind of show them that you have to go and hunt through it. And, you know, that's kind of difficult and it's not something you're going to do um, again. Um, and then I had a tip here for some children do tend to be quite selective um, and may not like mixed dishes. So that goes back to what I said earlier about always making sure there is a liked or preferred food available at that meal for them um, as kind of a segue into that mixed dish. Um, something else you can do is give them a very small portion in a bowl and then also put the components on the plate so that they can separate them out if they would like to as a way to make it deconstructed and less, you know, scary or overwhelming to a child who really is, is having an aversion to a mixed food. So I really hope those tips have helped you. And if they have, please subscribe to my channel. And again, if you have more questions or more topics that you would like me to talk about on YouTube, please come over and join Talia's table. You can join for as little as $4. Help support this content and help me make more content and better content that really helps you and parents like you all over the world. So thank you so much for watching. And this is Talia, the dietitian. Bye-bye.
This parenting thing is really hard and didn't come with a manual, especially when it comes to feeding. Here are some more videos to help you.